Hi everyone and welcome to Fun Foods. I'm Miss Lisa and we are at the Fayette County Public Library today and we are going to be making corn fritters. Now I've already turned my skillet on 350 and I've put just a couple of tablespoons of oil in there and it's starting to pop so it's going to be ready to cook. To make a corn fritter you simply need two cans of corn, about a uh, one and a half tablespoons of cilantro, two eggs, a cup of flour and that's basically all you need. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our corn, the whole kerneled corn, just make sure it's totally drained. We're going to dump those out and the first thing we're going to do is take our potato masher and mash them. Now we don't want to make creamed corn but neither do we want full kernel corn. Um, so I'm trying to mash these up just a little bit. Okay so that our kernels are broken up a little bit so that it makes a better um, corn fritter. Okay, this is taking a little longer than I thought it might be. You could also put it in a food processor, but just remember that you don't want total um, creamed corn. All right. Okay, so once we have mashed it up a little bit, broken up those kernels, we're going to add in our other ingredients, which are going to be the flour and the eggs and the cilantro. Okay, these are tough kernels here. They're breaking up just a little bit, which is good enough. Okay, so then we are going to go ahead and put our two eggs in. Stir that around a little bit. And then we're going to put in the flour to make our batter. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit at a time and stir that up. Okay, a corn fritter is a wonderful um, addition to any meal that you might would have. Instead of just serving corn, you can make a little corn patty here, a corn fritter. All right, before that gets mixed up too well, I'm going to go ahead and add my cilantro so that that can get mixed in there. You can also add a little bit of the salt and pepper if you would like. Okay, I need a little bit more flour to make our batter a little thicker before we put it in that oil. It needs to cook for about a minute or so on each side. Let's get the rest of that flour in here. So we're making a corn fritter today. Simply just corn and flour and some spices. All right, that's going to hold together. You can see that that holds together really well. So once it's sticking together, it's ready to go ahead and put into our into the grease, into the oil. So you're just going to want to put that in there. Okay, and then the flatter it is, the faster it's going to cook. Okay. Smoosh that down just a little bit. Okay, let me try another one. Okay, and so while these are cooking, you can get the rest of your meal ready. I'm trying to flatten them down a little bit so that it cooks all the way through. Okay, you can see that that oil is cooking around the other side here. I need to tip it down just a little bit. All right, so we want it fried on both sides before we flip or you know before we eat it. <laughs> now to finish it off at your table you might want to have a little butter, a little salt and pepper. Um, this would make a great addition to um, even a hamburger and hot dog meal or a fried chicken meal. All right let's so see ahead and see if this one is about ready. Not quite. Okay. Okay, you're going to look for a brown texture on the edge of your corn fritters. I'm just trying to flatten this one out. 
The thicker they are like this, the longer it's going to take to cook. Okay, this one is totally coming apart, so we're going to ignore that one over there. Let's try this one. All right. And maybe speed it up a little bit by giving it some pressure. Maybe even turn it up to 375, but you don't want to go too much hotter because then you will be able, of course, to burn your corn and that's not going to be any good. All right, it's the original first one that we put in here. Let's see if it's ready to go. Okay, this is the part of cooking that takes a while. Okay, it's, sometimes it's good to have something else to do while you're waiting, but you don't want to not watch your food. Okay, so we may need to put a little bit more oil in here. You don't want it to stick to your skillet, but let's go ahead and just add a little bit more in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and flip this one back. Ouch. All right, this one might be really about ready. Let's try this one again. Okay, now you can see this one is starting to get that brown texture on the outside edge throughout the middle there. This one as well. Okay, this is what you're after is a, a browning of your corn and your batter. That side just not wanting to brown, is it? All right, this one is about ready, I think. Let me give it one more flip. Okay, so you would want to fill up your skillet with five or six of these corn fritters and keep turning them over until they're ready. And then dish them up on a plate for your family to try to eat. All right. And I have little corn nuggets here, it looks like. <laughs> Came apart a little bit. Might want to add a little bit of milk in your batter to give it a little bit more consistency. Okay, I think this one is really ready. Woo! Got inside that grease there. Okay, so when you take it out to finish it off, you might want to come and get a little pat of butter. Okay, put that up there. Corn is always good with butter on it. And then sprinkle just a little bit of salt and a little bit of the pepper on there and you are ready to eat. My pepper's not coming out. <laughs> All right, well, wherever it is. And there you have it, folks. You have a wonderful corn fritter. And that is what I've made today. All right, folks, I'm Miss Lisa. And we are here at the Fayette County Public Library, and this has been a fun food. It's one that might take a little longer than others, but when you're done, you have a very yummy corn fritter. Thanks for watching. Come see me again in two weeks, and we'll have another food recipe for you. Bye now.